Like Harry Fox, like Rock Lions, like a brother or sister maybe. Here's a secret signal you can show everybody that you smell a pirate. Follow along, section two. When you smell that pirate, put your hand out to the side. Then you put it back in front of your face. Then move it up. Then move it down. Then up. Then down. Up. Can you see where we're going with this section two? Can you do it with the other hand? Good. Both hands at one time. This is a really stinky pirate. Do it out to the side like this then, okay? Well, don't do that because you look like a bird, sir. And that's a different show at times. Okay, so we know now what a pirate looks like. We know what they smell like. Section number three, how are you guys? <laughs> Section three, do you guys know what a pirate sounds like? Ooh, I got a pirate expert in the back. I'm gonna keep my eye on you. Uh, let's, let's make sure we're all on the same page, guys. On the count of three, I want you to give me your biggest piratey bar you can. Are you ready? One, two, three. <laughs> Excellent. You're all now members of Miss Miranda's Imperial Navy. I'm going to call you my junior soldiers, okay? And your first order of duty today, junior soldiers, give yourselves a big old round of applause out there. These are the extreme work, people. Let me introduce you to my very best friend in the whole wide world. He's right over here. His name is Pepper the Parrot. <laughs> Pepper. Now Pepper, he's an odd bird. He had to take a train from South America to be with us here because Pepper hates flying. Well, oh, that's what you told me, Pepper. You said if you even think about flying, you just fall to pieces. You're going to want to start laughing at these jokes now, folks, because they're not getting better than that one, okay? It's your money's worth early on this show. Okay, now Pepper's our lookout. It's his job to tell us if he sees a pirate. If he does, he squawks out the word pirates. So that's your cue. When you hear Pepper, I need you to yell out the word pirates as loud as you can. Let's give it a try. Pepper first, then you. Okay? Pepper, go. Pirates! You guys. Pirates! Okay. That was terrible. It's okay, though. It was your first time. I'm going to catch you some slack. These are nasty, ugly, stinky old pirates. I need you to yell so loud they can hear you all the way across the cove, okay? One more time, Pepper, go! You go! See, that one alerted me. There's Miranda, the Imperial Navy, our secret weapon, which is on the need to know basis. And uh, right now you don't need to know. One final thing, folks, as you were coming in, I bet somebody told you out front, if you're sitting in the first five rows, you're in the blue zone, and that you might get a little wet, well, that's a lie, you're not going to get wet. You're going to get completely soaked, okay? So enjoy yourselves, sit back, take in the beauty of Pirate's Cove, and yes, we still call it Pirate's Cove, sir, I know you're worried, but trust me, we haven't had a pirate here in years, but uh, on the odd chance, maybe we should all keep a weathered eye out there towards that horizon. Sit back and listen as we tell you the tale of the battle for Brickbeard's Bounty!
gotta be honest with you, I think this group of junior soldiers in front of us today, you guys might be the best group of junior soldiers we've ever had here, yeah! Excellent, don't be bashful, yeah. And you know, the Imperial Navy is the best Navy there is on all the seven seas, and to prove it to you,
Well, it is my sincere pleasure to tell you, on behalf of the Navy, you are under arrest, you stinky, smelly guys. Here's the sound. Actually, both hands. That's Miss Miranda for sure. It's not Miss Miranda. Miss Miranda smells like roses, and I know because I smell her all the time. Remember the beginning of the show? That's the fish I was talking about. You see, this is where the smell comes from. There, it comes from right there, it comes from right there. Hey, 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 this is a family show. Don't try that at home. Stop them, guys. Hey, 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 stop the pirate, not this Miranda. Your women slip right underneath your noses. Because they don't have noses. We gotta work on that, okay? You know, folks, you could call that quite the feat, huh? <laughs> this is bad. This is worse than the jokes. I've lived here at Pirate's Cove a long time. I've never seen a pirate. What we need to do is alert the secret weapon. Because Pepper, have you seen Sawtooth? Have you guys seen? Oh, you don't even know. I'm sorry. Sawtooth is our secret weapon. He's a stealth shark. And he's sleeping somewhere near around the cove. And legend has it, he's responsible for Rick Beard's peg leg, and he's waiting for the captain. You know, put his good leg in the water to keep him story. You can usually tell he's around though, because you can hear him snoring, kind of like that. Hey, you just want to be close, guys. Help me. On the count of three, I need you to yell, wake up, sawtooth. Okay? One. Did you have tuna salad for lunch today? <laughs> oh boy, what did I tell you, Sawtooth? You gotta start brushing and flossing, man, okay? You get up! <laughs> that time it's gonna come out, that's not good. That oh boy. Look, they can't get any worse! <laughs> Guys, we drank with this. Stand your battle stations, go into the ground up.
pirates so bad, they are headed out to sea, never to return again. <laughs> I can say that with 100% confidence because I've seen this show before. So, if you guys don't mind, Old Salty's gonna go over a little deck, maybe grab a quick nap a -roo and uh, cool. Hey guys, do we still have those uh, Egyptian cotton blankets? Because I'm really, really tired. That's like seven more pirates than I ever wanted to see in my lifetime, okay? okay. Yeah.
Take over the stage, you're welcome. This evening, we have a strict no piracy rule here at Pirates Go, and you, my friend, have committed several severe violations. Number one, you're a pirate. Number two, you stand here, okay? You're gonna have to start bathing more than once a month, all right? Because it's catching up with you, man. And number three, like the loose of all, in your treasure chest, we found an unregistered bootleg copy of the Lego Ninjago video game. Oh, and they're gonna write, everybody say shame. Yeah, say boo. That's a little piracy, Rick Beard, even for you. I guess there's one thing left to say. Game over! My soldiers have me surrounded. Salty! What? All of your junior soldiers have won this time! That's right, junior soldiers! We did win today! Yeah! Great job! And, for the help of Miss Miranda and the Imperial Navy, we learned not to be bullied by the likes of you and your crew. Speaking of which, Rick Beard, seems like they left you all alone, high and dry, without a leg. Oh, to stand on. Just remember when you least expect it. We will return once again to play!